This conference will now be recorded. So, so the topics that we're going to cover, we can move there. We will see what is the meaning of Kanban, what is Kanban basically, characteristics of Kanban, functions of Kanban, what are the functions and functionalities available in Kanban. Then we will see step by step process of Kanban. Okay, so basically we will first start with what is Kanban. Okay, so Kanban is a process by which material can be replenished as per the requirement. It's like basically replenish the material. Suppose let's say you are consuming a material. Okay, so let's say the, the material has become, uh, stock has become empty. Then immediately you are replenishing it. Okay, so that that process is called basically Kanban. Okay, Kanban is a Japanese terminology for re material replenishment. Okay, it's basically the Japanese functionality, basically Japanese technology. Here, Kan means card, Ban means signal. Okay, so the, the term C A N Kanban, first, first three characters, Kan means it's a card, B A N means it's a signal. Okay, that means the understanding is card which will give the signal for replenishment. So this card, they will, they will be maintaining a card. Okay, that card will give you the signal to replenish the quantity. Okay, so that is the meaning of Kanban. Kanban will have plastic bins and cards. Okay, so here you will have a, uh, uh, some plastic bins and then for each bin there will be a card. Okay, the card will hold the material number, storage location, barcode, material quantity, etc. And will be kept on the bin once the bin is full. Okay, so basically what they do is, they will create a card. The card will have all this information and this card will be normally attached to the bin attach it to the bin okay once the bin is empty once the bin is empty then the card will be on the board board and like this multiple card will be there for a single material with proper serial number okay so i'll, I'll explain this so how it works is so basically this is how the kanban process suppose let's say you have a production line you have a production line in the production line there is a work center where you are consuming a material, where you are constantly consuming a material. Okay, so now here for this metal consumption, they will maintain the bits basically. They will maintain the bits. Okay, suppose let's say one of the bin, the, these bins will have stock. Okay, so once the stock in the bin is become empty, becomes empty, become MC, empty, then it will trigger a replenish for replenishment okay so that card of that bin will be placed onto the board it will be placed onto the board okay then using that card the replenishment will trigger and this replenishment can be three types either you produce the material again it's if it is a produced one or it is just a stock transfer or you are going to purchase it from a vendor so once the supply source supply the material then that metal is received and then the bin will become again full bin become full the once the metal is replenished the bin status will become full so like this this cycle will go on cycle will go on. so what they do is each bin will have a card attached to it card attached to it the bin will have a card so that bin when the bin becomes empty they will take the card and then they will put it on the board they'll put it on the board that means it has to be replenished okay and once the bin becomes full then that card the bin card will be again attach it to the bin. bin that's why here you have two things one is once the bin is empty the the card attached to the bin will be on the board kanban board kanban board. okay somebody will go and put it on the on the board basically so how it works is i'll show you I'll just explain. Okay, suppose let's say you have for a material, let's say you have a raw material. Okay, raw, raw material. 
Okay, so let's say for this raw material, you have four bins. Bin one, you have four bins. Okay. Let's say you have four bits, all of quantity 50, let's say. Okay. So now, for each bin, there will be a card. For each bin, there will be a card. Card will have all the information. Okay. So like card one, card one. For this, there will be a card. Card one, let's say, let me just call it as a card. Card two, card three, four. Okay. Uh, now, suppose let's say the, the quantity in this bin is consumed. Okay, now this stock has become zero. Then what they do, they take the card, card of this bin, and there will be a board here. There will be a Kanban board here. Okay, board. Now they will take the card, card, and then There will be a board here they will take this card and then they will shift that they will place this card over here okay they will put it over here okay they will put it over here they will, they will, okay let us do one thing they put that card over here Okay, so somebody will come to know that now they have to replenish. So once they replenish, again once the card, once the bin has become full, okay, and then they will bring this card again, attach it to the bin. So that is what happens in the Kanban basically. Okay, so that is a Kanban process. Once the bin is empty, then the card will be on the board, and like this, multiple card will be there for a single material with proper serial number. Okay, so that's what happens in the Kanban. Kanban. It's a basically replenishment. Okay. Kanban is a process by which Kanban is a process by which material can be replenished as per the requirement. Okay. In Kanban, the material flow is organized using containers that are kept directly at the appropriate work centers in the production. In the production. So basically, what they do here is they maintain the containers here. You see here, there they maintain the containers nothing but bins basically okay so in that bins you will have the stock inventory then they will try to consume once the bin becomes empty then they will replenish it so when the bin is empty it will it will give a signal basically it will give a signal for replenishment okay each contains the quantity of material that work center personal need for a certain period of time so that each bin okay basically each each bin contains the quantity of material that work center personnel need for a certain period of time. As soon as a container is emptied by the demand source, replenishment is initiated by Kanban. So once the container becomes empty, empty, then there will be a replenishment trigger automatically. Automatically happens. This I will show it in the system. Okay. The supply source for the required material can be another place in production or an external vendor or a warehouse so replenishment strategy can be three either you can produce it to replenish it you can do another production or you procure from a sub uh, outside supplier vendor or simple stock transfer from another storage location so this one this replenishment how you are going to do replenishment now now the metal has become empty you have a bin in the bin the metal is empty now you have to make the bin full so what you are going to do for to make the bin again full either you are going to do production or you are procuring from a supplier okay or you just do going to do stock transfer from this location to this location okay so that is called a replenishment strategy so you have supply source you have demand source okay 
so now this kanban process can be used in any industry okay if, if the organization wants to implement this kanban it can be used by any any kind of industry any kind of industry. okay so now we will understand the characteristics of kanban okay so kanban basically it's a full production full production supported by graphical kanban table we will see it in the system we'll see it in the system material flow organized using containers okay setting to empty in the system triggers procurement okay so procurement and setting the bin to full in the system poses a good set okay there are two things we will be doing setting to empty and setting to full we will see it in the system master data in the control cycle guarantees self management of the production process therefore no planning of material staging so the, the we will be creating a control cycle in the control cycle this control cycle will take care of everything will take care of everything okay so the basic idea of using kanban is minimization of the manual posting effort and administrative effort in the system so here uh, everything happens automatically no need of any manual activity this we will see it in the system okay it's basically like lean manufacturing process optimization with more employee responsibility okay so these are the main features of the kanban process okay so now we will start with the kanban master data so to execute kanban what master data we need to create so first we need to create the production supply area okay so you see here there is a production line there is a production line here there is a work center where they need to consume some material okay so the material is kept in containers bins okay so for this you need to create a production supply area okay so in the for the production supply area you need to assign the storage location responsible person and unloading point unloading point okay so this is the production supply area okay so before that what i will do i'll just create a new finished product so let's go to the system now okay so what i will do i'll take an existing material i'll just create a new finished product okay let me take this material i'll create a new finished product then we will go to the production supply area okay industry sector mechanical engineering material type for finished product i am creating and just to save the time i am copying from the existing material 